All right, guys. So it's time for another episode. Unbelievably, this is a highly requested video, and I don't know why. I couldn't figure it out. Sometimes you look at it and go, really? Why does everybody want to learn how to do that? But this is a Greek salad, okay? Now, a Greek salad is real interesting because there's simple ingredients. There's more ingredients in the dressing than there is in the salad. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing. I love Greek food. Uh, I wish I'd do more Greek food. So we're gonna, this is the lineup. You ready for this? So today we're doing Greek salad. Tomorrow we'll show you how to mix up the vinaigrette. And then after that, we're gonna show you how to make the famous tzatziki sauce. Everybody loves tzatziki sauce. It's that white, I think it's cucumber. I don't know, I have to relook the recipe, but it's great and uh, it's got Greek yogurt in it and everything. And we'll, so we'll teach you how to put it all together. You guys ready to do like a, a Greek trio of videos? Let's do it. Okay guys, you ready for the ingredients? Let's do this. So you need cucumbers and I always buy these English cucumbers. Um, they're better, uh, they have a better flavor than the regular cu cucumbers. And so I prefer these. I tip my hat to uh, the UK. These are great cucumbers. I don't even know if these came, I mean, I, they're called English cucumbers. Did they come from England? I don't know. Uh, I'm guessing they did and this design was, uh, or this blend or whatever type of cucumber this is, uh, it was perfected maybe overseas, I don't know. Red onion, you got feta cheese, crumbles, Roma tomatoes, and olives, of course. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna show you the size you wanna cut your cucumber. That's very uh, important. You just don't wanna slice this. You don't want big slices in your salad, all right? So first thing we're gonna do is gently take the plastic off this cucumber. Let's cut the cucumber right now, okay? So we're gonna cut it by slices. So you're gonna wanna cut all your circles in half. You want half size circles like that. You can go smaller than that if you want, but I don't like them diced. I like a mouse size bite, all right? So cut your cucumbers just like that. And then, uh, you know, you could do, like you could do this to finish cutting, you go all the way down, cut this in half, watch. Let's take that, in. oops. Now you could cut your cucumbers like this. You could cut them, let's push them all the way. They're already cut. You could hold the end here. Okay, and then they're already cut in half and then every cut is a half circle. You can do that if you want. It's however you want to dice them, I don't care. They come out perfect, they're perfect size. Now, if I could find one, I can't find one in the kitchen right now. I think they're all dirty in the dishwasher. But I would take a big container with a lid and I would put all these ingredients together and shake, 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 shake to mix it. But I don't have that luxury today. But um, that's my, my little tip. That's my, Tammy taught me that. When you have very little dressing, you can put it in a container and shake it and it does really well. Okay, the main attraction is cucumbers. Cut them bite size. Do the same thing with everything else. Tomatoes, put those in. Beautiful. Let's get that over here. Your onions, try to break up your onions before you put them in so they're in pieces.
that's the perfect onion size right there just to give you an idea but I have some that are a little bigger and a little smaller so I'm just gonna throw them all in put your onions in Jack Jr. just came home from work he is waiting for this salad like there's no tomorrow so take your black olives slice them okay if you have whole olives slice them if you can buy the can of sliced olives it's even better spread them evenly around can't go wrong with those olives by the way you can always do more so we're not putting the cheese until the end and we're going to mix this first okay then we're going to do the cheese i love this spoon for mixing because it really scoops under and then allows me to to toss it on top so great. let's turn in i'll show you basically you grab some and toss it grab some there you go look how great that looks is that amazing can you see that good now this is gently sprinkle all over the salad And then you, if you want to mix this, you can be real careful. You want to destroy all your cheese. You just carefully fold it, grab some and fold it, grab some and fold it. It just looks great. There you go. You can use your own vinaigrette. You got Greek dressing already in a bottle. That's great. But our next video, we're going to show you how to make the Greek vinaigrette that goes with this salad and we will see you on the next episode and we'll try it then